Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my cochlear implant surgery update number two. And in this video, I want to share with you how my wife is taking care of my ear. Yes, how to clean it up, keep it clean, zero infections, okay? This process has to be done three times a day for the next two weeks. Okay, so let's get it started. The video starts right after this. Okay, we're going to apply the ointment again, the antibacterial ointment. So I'm going to clean the wound again a little bit. Let me get a cotton swab. Seemed to work best last time. And just kind of clean this off a little bit just to get the old stuff off. I don't know if it's going to come off. It's still hurting a lot. Mm, okay, I'll just apply this again. Okay, it's going to be the this ointment here, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is the ointment, the antibacterial, almost like a neosporin. And I'm going to put that behind the ear again, just do this three times a day. This is our second time applying it. So I'm just going to dab some on like that. Mm -hmm, just a tad more. And then we'll do this one more time to prevent infection. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to remove this. This was protecting the uh, ear from any moisture getting in. Oh boy. The Vaseline really does stick to that cotton ball really good. I'm going to put these drops here. It's actually for your eyes, but they recommend for ears. It's not as acidic. Put this. Four drops, four times a day. Okay. Tilt your head a little bit. One, two, three, four. Oop, three and four. Okay. One in fast. Now we're going to put the Vaseline on the cotton ball here. It's a little sticky, but we're just using some regular old petroleum jelly I'm putting it on that piece of cotton right here just prevents any moisture seals up the hole basically just on the I think I'm just gonna put it on the a small portion and stick that back in there like that Okay, I think that's everything for now. I think that's our second application of the uh, antibacterial ointment and the drops. And then putting the cotton swab with some uh, petroleum jelly on there just to protect the ear from any moisture getting in. So I think we're good for now. Till next time. Bye. Hey, baby. Uh, can you show where is the implant in my head, please? Um, well, I kind of feel a bump right here. Can you feel it? Here. Don't press too hard. Oh. It feels like it's, it's right, right, there. right under here, in this, under the skin, yeah. It does push okay. your ear out a little, but yeah, it's right here. Yep. We're going to be doing this uh, cleaning. Three times a day, right? Right, so we have one more time to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. 
Okay, we are back. Uh, that wasn't difficult, right? So that's what we are doing to keep my ear clean from any infections. If I had to take a shower, I would have to use a shower cup. Yeah, because I don't want any water to get into my ear. So anyway, uh, before I finish with this video, I want to let you know that I will be posting another video uh, that will be for December 23rd. Yeah, for the activation of my cochlear implant. So I really want to share with you that experience because right now I cannot hear anything. I'm completely deaf right now. I cannot hear even my voice. Uh, obviously, I will need the help of my wife to edit this video to make sure that everything is fine with the sound, of course. All right, so thank you for watching and I see you the next time. If you like this video, please give thumbs up. You can also share this video with your family and friends. Click on the bell so you won't miss any video in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. Do you want to see more videos? Visit my channel homepage and click on the playlist. And thank you for watching.